Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. You know who this is. This is Zen, and it's time for the Need Help with Playing Effective Defense Tips and Side Video Thread. Hints, tips, secrets, etc. It's all in here. It's all packed in here. Defense wins championships. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight to it. Let's go. Okay, starting off with some basic things on lock on with lock on defense. If you notice that there is a bullseye to the bottom right of Chauncey Billups and that it's blinking, that's his lock on defense. If you press the L trigger, it will turn to a orange color, an orangey color, orange red type color. And what that does is that lets you know when lock on defense is initiated. For some players, if you hold it, um, it won't come on as fast and it'll go off quicker because their defensive awareness or their man defense when you check the attributes isn't high the higher that is the longer the lock on defense lasts and also the quicker that it comes on so you want to check your players attributes for that now we go into using the right thumb stick and a couple of things that you can do there if you press toward this is all camera relative just in case you um, didn't know if you press toward the offensive player he'll reach and this, uh, and this is all with the right thumbstick. If you press up or to the left of the player, then he'll try to jump a dribbling lane um, or a dribble drive attempt. If you press down or to the right of the player, he'll do the same thing that he did just did just a second ago, but the opposite direction. And if you press away from him, what that does is that puts two hands up. Now, this is useful in more than one way. Um, actually, this, this this is a good way to disturb shots. It's not as effective as getting a hand in the face using lock on defense, but it is a good way to disturb shots. Also, doing this will break up a pass. I've had a couple of passes broken up when a player has nowhere to go. He stopped his dribble and he tries to pass it. It will actually hit the person's hands and, um, you know, disrupt the pass and you know get a deflection also if you press the B button if you press the B button that's for a charge if you're to the side of him you will actually jump into a dribbling lane like so now let's talk about another thing here let's talk about defensive icon switching if you have watched the offensive video tutorials on NBA 2k8 you have seen uh, me explain about the offensive icon switching or the directional icon passing um, that also is effective on defense if I hit the RB button all of the icons come up if I choose B I get the shooting guard X is the small forward Y is the power forward and the L trigger is the center. Now, if I press, uh, uh, this is very good, especially when you're trying to draw double teams and you're trying to rotate off of defense, off of defensive switching and things like that, trying to get to a player faster. You need to learn who e each person on the floor is so you can be able to switch to him better. Now, if you noticed, I've moved Richard Hamilton to the very back. If I hit the RB button and pull up their icons and I hit B, I can switch to him. But what this also does, just say that you aren't very familiar with defensive icon switching and you want to get to the furthest man back, especially in transition. What you want to do is hit the RB button and then hit the right trigger. And then what that does is that automatically sends you to the furthest person uh, back in the defense. If I were to switch and move Antonio McDyess, I'm choosing uh, Chauncey Billups, hit the RB button, right trigger, it goes to the furthest man back. That's very good in transition, um, especially if you're not familiar with defensive icon switching. Now here we're actually in game with lock on defense. We already know a couple of things with the right thumb stick and the B button, but let's just go over one or two more things with lock on defense to help you. If I'm with Chauncey Billups here and I initiate lock on defense, if I press forward, I'm able to get close to him and be able to sway him a certain way that I want to sway him. I'm holding forward and also pressing uh, up and down at a diagonal to do this. Now the opposite side of that, if I hold the L trigger and then hold away from the ball handler, he, he moves away from him instead of pressuring the ball. And what this does is is it helps contain the dribble drive. There are times during the dribble drive, and I know a lot of people have 
hard uh, a hard time online with people trying to get to the paint and dribbling to the paint and this will help you there's a time where this is necessary to contain the dribble drive and then there's a time where pressuring up is necessary now if I don't press anything if I if I'm holding the left thumbstick back and when I let it go he moves right back up on him now also with lock on defense what you can do is you can assign a player to a man for that one possession without going into your player matchup screen you know how sometimes you want someone to guard someone uh, just say I wanted Richard Hamilton to guard Tony Parker for possession. Um, I can do that by using lock-on defense, but that's only for one possession, not the entire game. And also what I'm about to show you is useful, especially when you're caught at a mismatch in transition, you can switch. What you do is you just take the person that you want to guard, whoever, you walk up to him, and you tap lock-on defense. And they switch for that possession. Um, and it's just this possession. If I want... Antonio McDice to guard him, they just switch. It doesn't matter. They just switch. So just say we were caught off guard in transition, and then we've got Rasheed Wallace guarding Tony Parker, and man, we may not want that. So we'll just switch, grab Richard Hamilton, lock on D, and they switch for that possession. Now just say I wanted Richard Hamilton to guard. Tony Parker this possession. Now this can be a strategic move during uh, you know uh, certain possessions of the game where you want a particular player to guard another. But once I <clears throat> initiate lock on defense with Richard Hamilton, look what Chauncey does. Chauncey automatically goes over here and guards Manu Ginobili.